Hi guys, how's it going? I hope you can hear everything that's going on. I have a fan going. So maybe this might be too loud. I don't know, we got some African chants going, you know? Anyway, so a lovely viewer, lovely subscriber, asked for this Taurus bonus extended she wanted to see what was going on through to the end of the year in career and finance. So this is a extended bonus for Taurus and this is going to be what you can expect towards the end of the year. I normally try not to predict and go too far out because so many things happen. And even right now we have Mercury, Mercury retrograde upon us or coming in soon. So that in itself is a disruption of energy and you know a whole lot of things we need to examine. I probably should leave this reading as something that you guys can focus on and think about throughout the retrograde period, but just don't make any strange moves. So what we have going on, the most important message here is to just stand your ground, okay? If you were thinking about moving, stay at home. If you're thinking about switching jobs, stay where you are for now. With this Knight of Pentacles, and this seven of pentacles, things are moving a little too slow to be making any type of predictive moves. Okay, nine of swords, hang on because you're gonna be, you're gonna feel it. Okay, whatever it is that's coming in, going on or whatever, I would hang on for a little bit. Even though some of you probably have like certain worries and whatnot, just hang in there. With the world card and the six of cups, I pulled an additional card with that six of cups and I got the ten of cups because I was wondering, well, what do we do with that six of cups? Basically, stay home, tend to your family, mend those bridges and because you're probably going to need to lean on them or rely on them or you're just going to need to be comfortable with them for a little bit longer. Same as if it's a work environment, just hang in there a little bit longer for now okay reason behind all of this page of wands i know some of you have the urge to move and do something with the two of wands you've been looking or whatnot but it's very competitive out there five of wands is probably not enough positions for the feel that you want at the pay that you want and everybody and their mother is already like qualified or overqualified for it message here again queen of pentacles and the hangman slow your roll strong and steady wins the race just stay right there when you make your moves you got to make like real moves and the thing is with this lover's card it talks about you know choices and choosing and a whole bunch of stuff and next to the sun that's telling you to as you're looking around honestly don't just look around to look around or don't just go get a job to get a job get something that you're going to enjoy and for some of you that may have been out there sending out resumes and whatnot knight of swords four of swords page of swords you probably haven't been hearing back from prospective employers right now it's like a little bit too much going on after that we have six of pentacles Ten of Wands, Five of Pentacles, Queen of Swords, Four of Cups. And I pulled two additional cards on that Four of Cups and I got the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Pentacles. So for some of you, it's like you're sitting here hoping for a lucky break, thinking about a lucky break. You're feeling stuck. You're feeling bored. You're feeling some of everything. There's a lot of discontent going on. There's a lot of discontent going on. Sorry about that, guys. It's like something, I don't know if something's on me, if it's just like a nerve jumping. I've been getting bit up every time I go outside so much. I'm not trying to get bit up inside the house either. Anyway, so with the six of pentacles, 10 of wands or whatever, this is a person that wants to quit. You guys would just love to quit. Whatever is going on at work is not been fair to you. They've been giving you the devil of a warm time. It's just you don't know where to go. You're looking for somewhere to go. And in the meantime, you're not 100% comfortable. But for some of you, you seem to have your eyes on the prize, right? Now, this is an additional row I pulled 
because so far the cards are just saying stay in place stay in your lane stay your role for some of you you have a boss your boss might end up if it's your boss giving you misery and grief your boss might end up having to stay home with a pregnancy for some of you your boss might actually for some of you you may be facing a layoff but it's better to be laid off and you go the unemployment route than they quit you and then then you quit i'm sorry and then you stuck there while you look for someplace else to go to so for some of you that might happen for others of you your boss might stop being such a bitch and things might actually improve your work situation right but for those of you it seems as though some of you if you do go through that period of having to be home for a while you will be fine you will be taken care of and then you will get an opportunity that gives you more like your dream position your dream job something that you more care about so i don't know if this makes sense to any of you but for the most part stay in place for right now it's like shelter in place don't make any strange moves so that's what we have with career technically through to the end of the year okay i can't speak over the retrograde's influence because that's when we start to get hot feet because everything breaks down nothing works we're antsy we're miserable people start to speak out of their neck like they start speaking sideways you don't know who they talking to but it's not you that they talking to like that like everything happens and then oh yes i gotta go to the love section that's when everybody and their father wants to pop back up into your life so let's roll on over here to what we have for romance what you guys can expect now through to the end of the year don't hold me to this i would prefer to come back in like november and see what's up with november december january anyway what we have going on is your hopes your wishes your dreams star card right you just wanted to be happy you wanted to be stable king of pentacles you wanted to be with the person that you loved for some of you the thing is there for some of you there could have been a little bit of betrayal, a little bit of hurt, and now you're stuck in your mind, like, where do I go? What do I do? Some of you, you want to save this. Four of Wands and the Hierophant, that's marriage right there. So for some of you, your greatest wish is to heal your marriage or heal your committed relationship. You don't want to leave. You don't want to go anywhere. For some of you, there could be two people in the picture, your Divine Feminine, your Empress, your wife mother of your children and whatnot and a second element that could have came in when there was the chaos and whatnot so for some of you you're having to choose between two what is it that you really want especially with this prince of swords six of cups and the six of torches you just want things if possible to go back to how it used to be, that lovey-dovey time, that sweet time, whatnot. And again, with the Six of Cups, kids could even be involved. So that's why you're not necessarily hasty or why you're being hesitant to make any type of moves, right? Three of Cups, Five of Cups, the Devil, Justice, and the Universe. At the end of the day, right? Thinking about reuniting with this person does hurt will hurt will cause you pain because there's things involved there's elements involved there's bad habits there's whatever it was that went down we have this is what two threes on the board definitely somebody stepped out of the union so for the people in this predicament for the most part you your best bet at least what you're starting to realize or what you now know is that your best bet is to sever ties and end this cycle Okay, when you sever the ties and you end that cycle, we talk, and I'm talking about divorce here for some of you. When you do that, there is, how are you going to move on? I guess these are the things you're thinking about. You know you'll be fine, King of Ten of Cups, King of Torches, the Sun card, Six of Swords. It talks about, yeah, you have no choice but to put one foot in front of the other, move on and heal and you will be fine. But at the same time, this is not something that you want to do. It's not something you're necessarily going to enjoy doing it. 
enjoy doing you're probably going to be like a low for low to low a low for for the most part bottom of your deck is the emperor to match that empress over there so this is a situation that involves marriage for some of you you are thinking about signing that dotted line and just you know dismantling and disbanding the family you still have love in your heart for whoever your divine feminine is but something went down too much of something went down and at the end of the day with the first set of cards that came out it's like your dynamic looks perfect except for that three of swords situation so that's what you're having a hard time recovering from whatever it was they stepped out on so again this met this this reading as far as love i wouldn't even use this to specifically or definitively set anything towards the end of, of the year because that just came out for someone who's in a relationship someone who's coupled up it didn't give me something for singles because for those of you that are single or for those of you that your relationship does look good this does not it's not going to resonate and it's not going to apply i need a hand to shuffle you know what i mean okay let's see what i can do for singles and those in a happy relationship messages please see that high priestess usually tells me it's not time seven of swords king of pentacles i'm just randomly pulling cards to see what i can get six of pentacles four of pentacles so if you are single and things are you know supposed to be good in your relationship you might feel like your partner is keeping secrets secretly talking to someone or even secretly hiding money from you because that's for the most part what it looks like there's something your partner is doing in secret all right why is this person they want to save they're saving for something all right taurus it figures your earth sign so even your partner's got to come with the money princess of pentacles slow moving king of swords your person could be secretly investing behind your back ten of swords they think they're slick you could be dealing with an air sign seven of pentacles all right i'm probably not gonna go too much further than this because for the most part if you're single and your relationship looks good your partner is probably just hiding some type of money or investments from you they're saving and I don't blame them because at the end of the day, I think they're worried about the rainy days and the slow days and the slow times. And they don't want no burdens. They don't want no issues. So I think they're just preparing some type of a nest egg. The only thing you have to question is did this nest egg come out of our joint account? If this is their personal finances and they're hoarding it and doing whatever, that's their business. But if they're like cutting corners out of your pocket, that's what y'all need to address. And cutting corners out of your pocket can be as simple as if you put $50 on a counter for groceries, all of a sudden you notice you guys go from eating organic and all this other stuff to great value in dollar store food. Question where the other $49 went. That means it's being hoarded somewhere. All right, so that's all you got to find out is if your partner is like patting the pig behind your back at your expense. Not here to cause any problems in anybody's happy home. I'm going to leave this here for now, guys. Let me know what you think. And I think I would have to come back to this towards the end of the year. All right, have a good one, guys.